up everybody? My name is Jen and you're watching The Screening Lady. I'm very excited right now. We'll be reacting to behind the scenes footage of Netflix's Sandman which is based off of like the greatest graphic novel series of all time from Neil Gaiman. No bias whatsoever with the ones right behind me but basically I'm very excited to see this. I know I have been late in terms of like just giving out my opinion I guess in terms of the casting for The Endless and the whole pronoun, pronoun thing and for the record in terms of how I look at it to me it's really not a big deal and it's something that's definitely within the comics already the whole inclusivity of it I think it's even ahead of its time like the whole point of desire is, is gender neutral desire is desire there is no gender to that and I'm, I'm glad that we have this representation and also like death I don't she's beautiful and the whole point of death also is the real beauty that you can't say no to. So, like, the whole, that's the whole point. And, like, I know I'm kind of excited and speaking in, like, high-pitched voice the whole time. But if I just take a breath, slow down, and, you know, watch the whole series with you guys, you can definitely have more in-depth discussion about The Endless, about the stories. Because, like, this whole thing is... is really something else. Anyways, Netflix came out with some Geek Week uh, footage and I can't wait to share this experience with you guys. So please don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. We're definitely gonna be reacting to the series when it comes out. And right now, let's just enjoy behind the scenes video in 3, 2, 1. Sandman is the story of the place that we go when we close our eyes at night. And it's called the dream. I mean, if you've heard Neil Gaiman's voice long enough, it always just makes you calm right like he's always reading a story or telling you a story years, anybody who read sandman read the comics that world is ending right i'm here at shepherdson studios oh what was that was that matthew what happens when you bring dreams to life i'm someone who is a, an obsessive sandman it's an awesome damn experience. man tom looks it's like dream already sandman. are they in costume <gasps> oh my god I read Sandman graphic novels, so I knew that I. She is perfect for Lucifer. I'm sorry, like, of course it makes something sense. Something truly unique was going to happen. Patton Oswald so also, I was gonna say, that. for Matthew. A great amount of detail and care has been put into how it's been brought to life. <laughs> We know like how long he's really waited for something or someone to come up with the real adaptation of Sandman that matches his and you know that's him. What they conjured here, it's like walking around inside your own dream. This is Sandman being made for people who love Sandman by people who love Sandman. Very important. And that's so important. I cannot wait until people so that was, that's his uh god that's his realm that we were inside when, <laughs> it's so soon it's so okay let me back up for a second and maybe we can try to break it down a little bit first one up is matthew we see him here and it's pretty cool that you know it's it's not cgi or anything i'm sure they're gonna throw a lot of cgi in also but it's it's cool we, we i don't know the term to call it please don't butcher me for saying it wrong like some mechanical practical puppeteer or whatever i don't remember matthew having like a white chest also so it's supposed to be a raven we don't have ravens here but i guess it's still matthew i hope so like why would we have like a couple seconds of of, of the raven in it if it's not matthew right so i kind of wanted to dwell a little bit here in this concept board i would think or or maybe their mood board of sorts we have some clippings from from the original artwork of the comic books but at the same time i don't know we we're seeing like how the doors would look like maybe or the lighting of it all it's really nice just to go through the whole process the whole creative process of making sure like it looks it looks and fits the mood of the whole comic books or the whole graphic novel so this one what new game is holding right now i guess like he has wait a second is that who's picture is that um they're probably going through all the different props that they're using for the series and what neil gaiman is holding out is the dream ruby which is 
um i, I don't want to get into so much spoilers yet and just talking about it out loud the, these are like one of the items that that morpheus or dream needs in order to um be fully capable or be fully in power like these are all his amulets and this dream ruby is is it's it's the most powerful item in terms of controlling the dreaming of of mortals i would say that's not a spoiler it's it's his weapon it's his weapon so still in the concept of his items or his weapons the pouch is one of the amulets also this is cute we're, we're focused we have like a a second of the pouch and it's the helm yay oh, oh my god oh, okay so we are talking about all the um amulets that we need to come to power <gasps> Ooh, it's the convention they ah in fairness yeah, and it makes sense because like we have the Corinthian in the cast as well already, right? Like, wow, 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 wow. Okay, cool, 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 cool. So we know that the show is gonna come out by later 2021 this year, definitely this year, right? So please don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel so we can both fangirl or fanboy about this series and really just you know hold hands together and be excited. We know that it's been a hard time having this series come to life because. Given has always been very picky in terms of adaptations of it all and with him at the helm being an executive producer here much like how it has been with, with the success of good omens i only expect really great things from this series so i'll see you guys soon bye